Welcome back, Spirit Family. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. Today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Aquarius for July 2019. When I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. Alright, I hope you guys like my setup here. I am actually in the mountains, off-grid, no electricity, no cell phone service, no running water besides a mountain stream. I love it. I am actually barefoot right now. I have my feet in some really luscious moss. I love it. With you guys being an air sign, you would appreciate the fresh mountain air out here. You can hear the mountain breeze. It's so nice, guys. So I've done a few readings off-grid like this before, and from time to time there might be an animal spirit that makes its way into the film or I see in the background. I will draw a note to that. I know I've had a few crows, snails, I had a mouse, butterfly, things like that that already popped in for July. So this is a lot of fun, guys. And if you would ever like a free reading, I do free readings from time to time on my live streams, hit that notification bell. All right, guys, you can get yourself a free reading. It's really fun, educational. Like I said, it's a spirit family, okay? All right. So for July, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's going to be a busy month. There's a lot going on, okay? But we'll, we'll take it into counter that it, it's going to be a little bit chaotic, but it's going to bring about positive change. Okay, my Aquarius? All right. We have two eclipses. We have a solar and a lunar eclipse as well as a retrograde, okay guys, for July. On July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. And solar eclipses really bring out our outer personality. And with it being in Cancer, I feel like family ties are going to get a little closer. I know with people in the States, 4th of July is right around the corner. So maybe get yourself out to a family reunion, a family barbecue. If not, maybe just go out and be social around that time guys okay for anybody who is single maybe this is the time where you're going to be meeting somebody because cancer signs are very passionate very love very loving very family oriented okay very tribe oriented on the 16th is our lunar eclipse july 16th a lunar eclipse in capricorn now the lunar side of things is more of our inner emotions okay our personalities you know what we see of ourselves and with it happening in capricorn this is going to be the time where you're really going to weigh your responsibilities and your priorities okay see the pros and cons of things that you've been doing lately and see if anything is really holding you back from what it is you're manifesting whether it's a wonderful relationship or a successful career okay health or wealth guys whatever it is don't let it stop you from manifesting your destination okay your goals in life you know where it is you want to end up all right so for the retrograde the retrograde is happening with mercury and it, we're taking it back to july 7th now mercury is turning retrograde in leo okay but it will go direct on the 31st and the same day there will be a new moon in leo so there's a lot going on for our leo friends okay Believe it or not, guys, that's not even all of it. I am not going to really dive too much into it because it just is so long for July. If you have any questions about what I just went over, these things can go really into detail, guys. If you want to do your own research, comment below if you have any questions. If you guys would like to find out your moon sign, let me know. Put in your full birthday below and I'd be happy to find it. Okay, I hope to see you guys for the free readings. I also have a healer's giveaway box that includes its own tarot deck, sage, incense, tapestry, salt lamps, things like that. I'll be telling you a little bit more about that before I pull from the angels or from the fairies. I think I'm going to do since we're out in the earth element and fairies, you know, represent earth. You can see the picture of the box of the healer's box. I'm going to be doing the giveaway for it's really quite large, so I didn't bring it off grid because it's quite heavy. It's unfortunately I'm only going to be able to do it for my US subscribers because 
you know the shipping on that is going to cost a little bit if it's international we're not quite there yet with the channel but we will be i'm manifesting 8,000 subscribers before my birthday august 31st so minimum of 8,000. all right giveaways are always fun all right okay aquarius we are starting off with the six of wands so there's going to be some triumph, okay? Some end to conflicts. Finding, you know, the solution to a problem. People are going to start agreeing with you and supporting you, whether it's a career or with a relationship, um, you know, an education path, just something different. I feel like you're going to have a lot of support behind what you are doing, whether it's you're starting your own business or, you know, picking an area of study, all right, I had a few jump out underneath the table. All right, I think just one. Let me double check. I want to make sure it may fall out like that. <clears throat> All right, you have the Nine of Swords. Aquarius, are you stressing about something? Are you not getting enough sleep? Are you worrying about something to the point where it's affecting your health? Maybe high anxiety, you know, just not really taking care of yourself. Maybe having bad dreams, you know, some PTSD, some past trauma. Lose, you might have recently lost a loved one, whatever it is. You know, you're kind of dwelling on it and you're kind of focusing too much of your energy towards the negative sides of things. And I know that can be easier said than done when things actually do happen. But try to take steps to better yourself. You know, during these retrogrades, the Mercury retrogrades, I always see it as it's taking time to heal yourself, okay? Because you always do so much when it's when when things are direct and you're but when Mercury goes retrograde, to me that's everybody take time for themselves, take your spa day, go out, go earth, you know, get back on your meditation cycle, whatever you need, you know. For some of you guys who are you know not really doing so good with the sleep um if it's okay with your doctor take some melatonin find some natural ways to get yourself to sleep i love lavender chamomile tea oh my goodness have that with a little dash of honey before bed that stuff makes you sleepy and relaxed okay so just maybe find different alternatives to get yourself some sleep all right all right <clears throat> my Aquarius you gotta love that mountain mountain breeze oh the air is so fresh out here guys maybe that's what you need to do hike to a top of a mountain and just release your negative energy you know yell if you need to whatever it might be let it go all right and when you do so you're going to be able to come back into security, okay? You guys are moving on to the Nine of Pentacles. As you can see, this card is very blissful. She is dressed very well. Her attitude and her posture is lovely. Her surroundings are luscious and fruitful, okay? It seems that she is secure, at peace, just really enjoying the utopia that she made. Okay, so once you move past the Nine of Swords, you're moving to the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe the number 99 might represent, you know, 699. I don't know if that's ringing a bell for any of you guys, but we're bringing it into the Nine of Pentacles. And I love ending with that card because to me it's telling me that you're coming into your own. You're coming into a more peaceful state of mind. You're feeling more secure in your relationships and your job and your choices in life, okay? You know, you start off with the Six of Wands and you end with the Nine of Wands. It's just telling me that you might have a little bit of trauma, um, you know, maybe some triggers, um, maybe some news that slightly sets you back this month, but really it's not going to um, be as bad as you might think when you first receive it, the news or whatever it might be, because you're ending with the Nine of Pentacles. So everything will be okay. Okay, Aquarius, just make sure that you're taking care of yourself, okay? You're probably working, you know, studying, you know, having kids to take care of, a family to take care of, whatever it might be, but you can't forget and you can't neglect yourself 
okay? All right, maybe you guys need the healer's box. Like I said, this healer box, guys, I'll show a picture at the end. It has a salt lamp, incense, sage, you know, your own tarot deck, which I have. It's the original um, Rider weight because I know everybody loves to start off with that. It's got gemstones. It's a really nice healer's basket. All you have to do, if you're already subscribed, that's fine, but subscribe, ring that notification bell, more importantly share any one of my videos to any social media it could be instagram whatsapp whatever it might be to your facebook i'm not too sex tech savvy <laughs> so i need you guys to help me you know i only have a facebook and i only have youtube so sharing is caring guys and on july 31st 9 p.m easter time i will be pulling a name from a hat from the winner unfortunately it's only u.s subscribers but if you don't end up getting that box, if you don't end up winning the healer's box, you might get yourself a free reading while we wait for, you know, pulling the name. If you guys aren't around on the 31st, I do live streams quite often. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can get on the list for a first come first serve for a free reading. Okay, I don't do them all the time. All right, only when I have the extra energy and I feel like reaching out to people I haven't heard of. I do live streams a lot. You know, you can get your you can book a reading during the live streams. Those are always really fun. Some people just like to hang around and watch the chat line and listen in because it is like I said, it's there's a lot of spiritual studies thrown in, in it. There's a lot of tarot and learning about different people and connecting. I know some people are actually even friends from meeting each other off of my channel so it's just great this is always what i wanted with spiritual findings you know celebrating our one year anniversary with this giveaway i'm just seeing what the channel started as and what it is now is amazing you know you guys are amazing and i appreciate you so much as which is why i like to do these giveaways because they're just so much fun all right guys to the fairies Whew, that was a lot to say Listen to them birds. That was right on cue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this microphone's able to pick them up, but that was cute. One over here and one over there chimed in right after I said that. Okay, so we have two cards from the fairies here new home moving is a step in the right direction for you so with this card it doesn't necessarily mean a new residence for some of you guys it does if you're getting a new apartment a new condo or a new home or just changing your where you live i mean that's always a fresh start a new home could also be you know how you feel with at home with yourself okay so moving leaving things behind you know that could play within the nine of swords here and that trauma something you need to let go you know give it a new home okay assertiveness stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to so don't let people push you push you over okay if it's something you want they might think it's silly. They might say, hey, I, I wouldn't do it that way. But if it's all in good karma and it's what you really want, go for it. Go for it, Aquarius, okay? Look how beautiful that card is. All right. All right, my Aquarius. This leaves us at our reading. I really hope to see you on one of the live streams, become part of the family. You know, that healer's box, it is a cool thing if you're in the States and you would like to try to win that. I only have about 10, 15 people on the list, guys, so it is uh, good standing, good chances right now, okay? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July.